All right. <laughs> okay. Good afternoon, everyone. All right. So another wonderful and I guess very hot Tuesday to all of our e 2 liars from all over the Philippines. And also, I know that we have people who are watching from other, you know, from other countries. Okay. So I hope that everybody, all right, everybody is having some, uh, you know, good time because it's Tuesday again. All right. So, well, this is your tutor, Ernell. Okay. So I wasn't able to be with you last time you know, for some reasons, okay? And now it's Tutor Drazel who is not here because she's also, uh, you know, doing something really important today. I'm actually, students, napaka-busy ng araw na to, no? So I guess most of us are feeling that because we are, you know, there are some schools who are preparing for limited face-to-face -face classes. And I know that all of you are very excited Again, to be back to school. But of course, kahit magbalik na tayo sa school face-to-face, -face, we will never forget our Italy sessions. It would always be part of our day-to-day uh, -day, uh, uh, learning. Okay? So we just don't know kung paano maging arrangement. But let us just be excited. Okay? But before we uh, uh, go on with our lesson, I would like to greet uh, those people who greeted or probably what we call the the early birds of our uh, session today so hello to Samantha Blasi of Liano High School as the Okaloocan for Lorraine hello Lorraine Hebe from Mangahan High School so she's from Great and Aeolus we have Kirubin Gabriel Villamore from Novaliches High School as the Ocasan City we have Danet Gansatao all right from Great and Aeolus Mangahan High School and Miss Janet Flood Patayan, all the way from Massachusetts, USA. All right, so here is your tutor, Arnell, again. And of course, we have tutor Dres as well here in this PowerPoint slide. We will be with you every Tuesday at 1.40 to 2.20 p.m. And of course, we would like to invite everyone to continuously follow and, uh, you know, check on the updates of our sessions at our new Facebook page, okay? So we do have our Itulai, Deped Itulai page already. So if you haven't followed the page yet, why don't you click it right now and be updated with our uh, sessions. And of course, we will never be outdated because we also have our YouTube channel. So hindi lang mga vloggers, but of course, our Deped Itulai teachers are also updated in YouTube. So to get updated as well with the sessions why don't you subscribe as well and check on all of our recorded sessions in youtube uh in our youtube channel i guess di ba may mga chances din na may mga students tayong nanonood sa youtube no so hello sa mga nakasubscribe or nakatune in sa youtube and of course to all of our etoli learners who are currently watching in facebook a uh, wonderful Tuesday to all of you. Ayan. So, arami mga bumabati ngayong hapon, no? So, though it's hot outside, be careful, no? Always drink a lot of water <laughs> because that's what we need today, okay? Medyo mahirap. Right? So, let's keep sharing our episodes for English 7. All right? So, kung mga kaibigan kayo dyan na wala namang ginagawa as of the moment at nagpapahinga lang, just keep on sharing the link to them so that mas marami pang matututo ng English for today's session. All right. So for our session today, it's already week seven. Oh my gosh, students, we are almost done with the third quarter. Okay, imagine that. No, so parang kailan lang nagsisimula tayo ng mga lessons natin. But now we are almost at the end of the quarter again. And our lesson today is going to be about asking WH questions. All right. So that was prepared by yours truly and Tutor Drace. Ayan, may mga nakikita na akong mga bumabati from our uh, YouTube uh, channel. All right. So let's check it out. So we would like to thank, of course, DepEd Sox Surgeon Region for providing us a reliable and a comprehensive discussion of our topic today, module number seven, asking WH questions. And just like what we are doing, of course, we are going to bound ourselves with our objectives for this day. I'm so sorry about that. That's supposed to be week seven. Week seven objectives. My dear Italy students, at the end of the session, you are expected to, or you will be able to, of course, matters of our uh, mind. All right, so you've got to be formulating content questions based on the ideas expressed. Matters of the heart, and 
So we do have uh, ask precise and appropriate questions on an issue. And of course, the psychomotor part or the ones that you will do with your hands, you're going to construct WH questions correctly. So hopefully all of these objectives would be met in the given time that uh, in, in the given time that we have for our session. Okay, last week, all right, week six, I missed it, no? So, na-miss ko yung, ano, yung session natin last time, and I watched it, kahit uh, late ko na siya napanood, uh, Tudor Dre's introduced us March 21 as the celebration of Word Poetry Day. And you know what, my dear students, may mga submissions ng mga poems, no? Because we had asked you, we asked you last time to submit us your entries. Why? Because according to, uh, you know, according to this uh information why do we celebrate a uh, world poetry day world poetry day is somewhat like our own way of expressing ourselves in a in a poem uh, in a in a form of poems no so we can actually express ourselves artistically may mga taon that they can express themselves through dancing singing no all right um and there are some people who are really good in writing so yeah so that's the essence of celebrating world poetry day so, well, of course, para mabigyan natin ng uh, honor or somehow recognition yung ating mga itulay learners who submitted their homework. All right, I, we ask you to write a poem stating facts and opinions about ourselves. We would like to commend, all right? So why don't we give or why don't we uh, fill our chat section or uh, comment section today with clap re uh, react or heart react as i read all of our amazing duties for week six okay so ito yung mga students na they took time to make their poem alam nyo hindi, mabili hindi mabilis or hindi ganong kadali gumawa ng poems no but these students really exerted effort to submit us their uh, their their poems okay following the the instruction that we, that were given last time. So let's give it up to Samantha D. Blasi of Liano High School, SDO, Kaluokan. Ang ganda ng poem niya. You know, kung may time lang talaga ako ngayon, I will read all of their poems. Okay, and of course, let's give it up to Renz Giver Calianta of Imelda Integrated Secondary School. And of course, let's give it up to Alriza Zaydain T. Gaza of Pampanga High School. You imagine that all over the Philippines yung mga nagsasubmit sa atin, no? And we are so honored that even though it's quite challenging, these students are really giving time to uh, uh, exert effort to submit their outputs. At hindi lang basta-basta, napaka-colorful pa ng iba. Hindi pa tapos yan. Meron pa tayong mga ikaw. Congratulate. Congratulations to John Michael H. Jiang, H. Jiangpo of Mangahan High School together with Reese Lorraine B. Hibe also from Mangahan High School and also Janiel Von Morales, Mangahan High School. And of course, Mark Platon, our student alumnus from Sagad High School. All of these students are from SDO Pasig. So salamat sa mga nagsend ng mga clap react, react and also their expression of congratulations. Now, we picked, all right, Tudor Drazen, I picked one, all right, which we found really appealing to read at today. So, namili kami ng isa at I would be so much honored to read this poem. And, dun, 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 okay, so let's see. Yeah, and so we are going to feature Reese Lorraine B. Hibes' poem. Okay, medyo maliit lang siya, no, sa screen. Pero I would love to read this poem to all of you. So yung poem niya, it's entitled, Some Things About Me. Okay, so Lorraine, if you are there, okay, so I will be reading your uh, uh, poem, okay? And we are so proud that we are presenting this poem to everyone. So sabi niya dito, my name is Lorraine, and believe me, I love rain. All right, being successful in life is something I want to attain. I think sometimes there's a fog inside my brain and I'm asking myself, how will my clumsiness be contained? I like cats and in playing, I like putting them in a mat. It's cute to see them biting a slat and with that, they run fast. Between dogs and cats, if I were asked, I'd say cats will always be the cutest in my sight. Being at home is the place I always prefer. It's just that for me, being idle sometimes is great for me. At home, I always have a mini concert. Yeah, and siguro singer to si Lorraine, no? 
that that way I am certified stress free. I always spend my days being productive in my daily routine. I don't want it to be disruptive. I feel that organizing my stuff will help me learn more in myself and my surroundings. I always tend to explore. There are so many things about me I want to explain. Trust me, it will take a long time for me to say those things. So again, my name is Lorraine. I hope you have a nice day. Yay! All right. So send you naman ng clap react si Lorraine. Okay, so that's a very simple poem, no? So about herself talaga. She really expressed herself in a very colorful, in a very nice, in a very artistic way. Ayan. So I know you know what's sa ating mga future na mga activities, dear Etolai students, why don't you send your outputs because you might be featured as this, you know? <laughs> okay. All right. You're amazing. Okay. Lahat ng mga nag-submit and all of you Etolai students are all amazing. Okay. Now, get ready with your keyboards and stretch na yung mga kamay ninyo because we are now going to start with our activity, our activating prior activity. So last time your discussion was about distinguishing fact and opinion and part of that, this would be your activity. Alrighty, so let me read the instructions. Identify each statement as fact or opinion. Now, in the comment section, type fact if the statement expresses a fact and opinion if it expresses an opinion. Okay, so let's, let's uh, get started. Okay, number one. The COVID-19 pandemic has changed people's daily lives. Okay, so you better choose if it's fact or opinion. Okay, so type in your answers. Don't forget to put a number. So while you are typing, let me greet some of you. Okay, so NB, NJB Garcia, good day watching from Godofredo Reyes Senior National High School from Ragay. Okay, you know what? My mother is uh, from Ragay, Camarines Sur too. So, maray na hapon po sa Indong Gabus dyan. Okay, so, all right, so we already have an answers. Okay, we have a lot of answers, I mean. So, so Diary said fact, Samantha said fact, Janet Flood Patayan said fact. Francine Innocentia said fact. Let's check it out if it's really fact. Okay, good job, students. Very good. Number two. Okay, you tell me if it's fact or opinion. I have a feeling that 2023 will be a better year for me. So, medyo magbibilang pa tayo ng mga ilang buwan. No? It's still March. Wala pa tayo sa kalahate. But the person who said this have a feeling that 2023 will be a better year for him or her. Okay, so... Type in your answers now. Okay, is that a fact or opinion? So while you are typing your answers, bati tayo ulit. Ayan, puro sagot pa pala to. Mamaya na lang. <laughs> All right, so a lot of you typed in opinion. Ang bibilis nyo mag-type ngayon na, right? So, o, oh, nangibago lang ako. So, Ezel Reconez said opinion, okay? So, Janet Flood pa tayo, a feeling, she said, it's opinion. Stephanie Kate Limbago, opinion. Jo Julia Poldo said opinion. All right, so Angela Lynn, let's see if her answer or your answers are correct. You're correct. Okay, so we already have a clue. Tama si uh, Janet Flood pa tayo when she said the word a feeling. Okay, so opinions are usually based on our feelings. Okay, number three, it seems that people are more worried about having no social life than getting infected with COVID-19. Ayan, so may mga alert level 1 na. Pwede na tayong lumabas. <laughs> All right, but let's check this out. If is this statement is fact or opinion? Okay, so we have a greeting here from Marth Asen Galicia from LFG Jamantina National High School. Hello po sa mga taga Jamantina National High School. We already got an answer. So Judah Paolo said opinion. Eunice Uskisa said opinion. Zamaria Emery said it's opinion. Let's see if that's correct. You're right. It's opinion. So medyo parang tricky, no? Parang fact, pero hindi kasi, di ba, iba-iba yung ating opinion when it comes to how we view COVID-19 pandemic. And of course, for number four, according to experts, older people are more at risk of coronavirus. So is that a fact or opinion? Okay. Go, go, go tayo, mga students. Even though it's hot. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, and so so diary said it's fact. The net gun set out said it's fact. Arvik said it's fact. Okay. So John Michael said it's fact. Okay. Let's see if your answers are correct. That's correct because it's according to experts, no? So that's why nga no yung mga older people natin sa bahay during, you know, during the onset of pandemic, we they don't want we don't want them to be exposed outside because they are more at risk of the virus. Okay, and let's have the fifth one. Okay, is this a fact or opinion? The year 2020 is still a great year despite the pandemic and all other calamities and disasters that happened. Okay, so is that a fact or opinion? Okay, so may mga nagsasagot pa for number four. All right, so okay lang yan. You may send, but don't forget to put your answer for number five. Okay, we already have from so diary shed its opinion with question mark. Not sure yet. We will see so diary. Okay, so Krija Rain said its opinion. Julia Poldo said its opinion. Rhea Liwanag said its opinion. Samantha Blasi said its opinion. Kerubin Gabriel Villamore said it's opinion. Let's see if your answers are correct. Good job. It's opinion. Okay. So now that we have finished our activating prior knowledge, it's now time for you to tell me your scores. Okay. So for all of you who got a perfect score, send me five heart reacts in our chat box or in our comment section. And while you are doing that, let's check it out. Let's see some greetings here. So Rianeth Soriano watching from Diamantina National High School. So good afternoon to you, uh, Rianeth. Okay. And... Uh, Ayan, puro sagot pa pala siya. Okay, so let's see the scores. Wow, Krija Rain, congratulations. Samantha, 5 over 5, congratulations. Trisha Cartagena, 5 over 5. Julia Poldo, 5 over 5. Princess Modelo, 5 over 5. Ayan, so invite more of your friends to join us because we are going to have more fun activities here. Okay, so Aaron James Ventura, John Lawrence got 5 over 5. Okay, so a round of applause for all of you for doing a good job. <clears throat> okay. All right, so we're not done with activity yet, but this is going to be part of our introduction to the new lesson. So look at the directions, my dear students. You are going to complete each statement by choosing the appropriate word from the list of words in the word cloud, okay? So type the correct answer in the comment section. So makakakita kayo ng mga sentences right after with blank, and then you are going to pick the word that would fit the sentence from the word cloud, okay? So let's start with the first one. Okay. Ayan. All right. So here are the words in the word cloud. So titigang mabute. Which one? What? How often? How long? When? How and why? Now here is the first statement. Blank does it take for COVID-19 symptoms to appear? So ano kaya? What do you think should be the appropriate word for this sentence? <clears throat> Blank does it take for COVID-19 symptoms to appear? So, pili lang tayo sa word cloud. So, while you are choosing, hello to Benji Garan of Diamantina National High School. Okay, so Samantha already has an answer. So, as with the net, and they their answers are how long. Janet Flood Patayan said how long. Eunice Uskisa said how long. Miguel, Miguel Torremania Nicolas said how long? Princess D. Falcatella said how long? Let's check it out if that's the correct answer. Good job, students. All right, so the question is, how long does it take for COVID-19 symptoms to appear? Okay, so let's have the second one. Same word, cloud, but different item. Number two, blank, is it necessary to wear a face mask, especially when we go out of your home, okay? Blank, is it necessary to wear a face mask, especially when you go out of your home? So you are still sending your answers for number one. Okay, so Samantha said how often, others said how long. All right, okay, so others are saying why. Bato nga ba hindi binabanggit? So, Renz Giver said, why? Ella Marie said, why? All right. 
Caribbean Gabriel Villamar said, how often? Okay, let's see. All right, so the answer is, why is it necessary to wear a mask, especially when you go out of your home? Okay. So others said, how often it is, is it necessary? So that makes sense, no? Okay, so let's have the third one. Okay, for the third one, blank, can you avoid getting infected with COVID-19? Blank, can you avoid getting infected with COVID-19? So choose from the word cloud. Let's let me check it out. May mga sagot na ba tayo for number three? Okay, number three. I can't see it. Okay, so Ella Marie de Magila said it's how. Trisha Cartagena said it's how. Ramiel said it's how. Let's see if that's the correct answer. Okay, how can you avoid getting infected with COVID-19? Okay, my dear students, I won't ask you your scores because these are just but you know, parang uh, uh, introductory activity for our today's topic. So I would like to know your opinion about this question, okay? So you can quickly type in your answer in the comment section. Have you ever wondered why do we ask questions? Bakit kaya? Why do we ask questions? What's the reason? Okay, so you can just type in one short sentence for your your answer or your opinion about this question. Have you ever wondered why we ask questions? Okay, so Sudairi so said to gather information. Okay, Arvik said to clarify. Very good. All right, so how about the others? Okay, so do we still have more? So Janet Flood Patayan said, we ask questions to learn more. Very good. Lorraine said, we ask questions because we know something we don't. And of course, we want to communicate to others. That's correct. Diba kapag we wanted to start a conversation, we're asking a question. Okay. Yes, and so much more ideas. So, well, you're right, my dear students, because... According to our source, all right, the ating module, we ask questions because we don't always hear everything we want to hear in exact order, depth, or detail. So, ibig sabihin, may mga pagkakataon that when we listen to someone, even though they have a loud voice, kapag ikaw a little distracted with the noise around you, we don't actually hear it exactly. So, we ask questions. Why? Because we wanted to clarify and to confirm things before we take actions. Diba kapag hindi tayo sure, we tend to ask, sure ka? Or am I really going to do this? Or ano nga yung gagawin ko? So, you, we keep on asking because we wanted to confirm and we wanted to clarify things. And of course, just like what your uh, co-learner said earlier, we ask questions to learn more things. Remember, class, that when we are asking questions, there are some concepts and rules that we also need to consider. Okay, so syempre, in English, we have our grammar rules that we need to follow so we can uh, clearly express ourselves. So, since our topic is about asking WH questions, these are the examples of WH questions and 1H, okay? So we have what, when, where, who, whom, which, whose, why, and how, okay? So these are this, the examples of these questions. And what are these? We use them to ask for information. So tama yung sinabi ng iba sa inyo that we ask questions to learn or to get information. So we use WH questions to gather information depending on what WH question are you going to use. Why? Because it cannot be answered by a yes or no. So simply, for example, if somebody asks you what is your name, you don't say no, you don't say yes. All right? So ibig sabihin, pag ganun ang sagot mo, you did not understand the question or you are not paying attention. So here is an example of one WH question, my dear learners. So, letter A, when do you finish high school? So, of course, we are actually expecting uh, an answer that would pertain to a time. So, the answer is next year. Or, like this one, who is your favorite actor? So, of course, pag gumamit tayo, or if we use a WH question that is like this, who, we are expecting a person. 
Okay, so Limin Ho for sure. Yan, so yung mga favorite na mga Koreans dyan, no? Limin Ho. <laughs> Alright, so if I will ask you this question, I know that you can give me a lot of names, right? So those are examples of WH questions and 1H, don't forget that, okay? What, when, where, who, whom, which, whose, why, and how. So there are rules forming WH questions. So the first one that we should remember when we form WH questions with an auxiliary verb or helping verb, this, this should be the pattern. So we usually form WH questions with, look at this one, yung WH question followed by an auxiliary verb. It could be a be verb, do or have, plus the subject and the main verb. And you can also use a model verb, WH, model verb, subject, and main verb. And these are the examples of it. Okay, so for WH questions that uses B verbs, we have when, that's the WH question, then followed by a B verb, are you leaving? Okay, so that's an example of a question with WH question that asks about that uh, the time, when, when are you leaving? Okay, and then others would be who's been paying the bills? Who's been, pinaikli siyang has been, who has been paying the bills? Okay, for the, those verbs with uh, th those uh, WH questions that uses do, okay, so where do they live? All right, why didn't you call me? For those that uses have, what has she done now or what have they decided? And then for model verbs, who would uh, she stay with? Where should I park? So observe the, the, the pattern, okay? Yung pattern na pinakita ko sa inyo kanina, okay? So these are examples with auxiliary verbs, okay? And then we also have WH questions that are formed without an auxiliary verb. So paano nangyayari yun? So when what, who, which, or whose is the subject or part of the subject? Okay, so pag binigay mo na yung sagot doon sa question, the answer or yung, yung answer doon sa WH question na yun becomes the subject of the sentence. Remember, di ba, when it's a subject, uh, most of the time it's found at the beginning of the sentence. So we do not use auxiliary verbs for this type of uh, WH questions. So it's usually having this pattern, subject plus verb. And these are the examples. So, what fell off the wall? So, kapag sinagot mo yan, an egg fell off the wall. So, an egg is the subject kasi yun yung pinag-uusapan sa sentence. That's what we are talking about in the sentence. Alright? Who bought this? Who is the subject? Who, for example, my mother bought this. Okay? Which horse won and whose phone rang? So these are examples of WH questions without helping or auxiliary verbs. Okay. And of course, the negative WH questions. Pag sinabi natin negative WH questions simply means uh, it's the opposite of uh, affirmative. Okay. Pag affirmative, it simply means parang yes or okay. But if it's negative, it's the opposite. And it's usually like this, my dear students. Examples are like this. So, pag affirmative, it's like this. Who wants an ice cream? Yan, yeah, medyo mainit ngayon, no? So, it's it's fun and it's timely to eat ice cream. Pag tinranspose mo siya or you change it to a negative WH question, you, you have to use the auxiliary verb do and then you've got to be adding not or if you make it, if you wanted to make it shorter, it's going to be NT or int, doesn't or don't. Okay, and then same thing with the next example, which door opened, which door didn't open. And so you will be getting it more as we go on with our activities later. Yan, so gaya nga na sinabi ko sa inyo, okay? So this time, my dear students, I will be showing you like pictures. And then I would like you to formulate your own WH questions, all right? And then you've got to be typing your answer in the comment section. Okay? So look at this, my dear students. It's cyberbullying. <clears throat> Ayan. So di ba cyberbullying? Um, mostly ang mga nakaka-experience niyan yung mga students na masyadong na-expose sa social media and di nababantayan. So can you form, 
your own WH questions that is about this topic, cyberbullying. So remember yung mga binigay kong examples sa mga WH questions, what, when, where, how, <laughs> why. Okay, so I will wait for your WH questions. While we are waiting, let's greet all of our learners. Okay, so we have Alriza Zidane. Okay, so yung isa sa ating mga nag-submit ng uh, homework, no? So from Pampanga High School. Okay, so we have John Carlo Tagibao. Okay, watching from Banquero Integrated School. Also, we have John Joseph Cruz. Okay, from Gaten Adonis. So I suppose uh, he is from Mangahan High School, no? Uh, Chev Harris Binuya, Seven Love Watching from DMGHS. So meron na ba tayong mga questions? Okay, so good job, Mark Platon. What are the effects of cyberbullying for students? That's a very good question, okay? You don't have to answer this. Magpo-formulate lang tayo ng question. Lorraine, what is cyberbullying? Arvik uh, Erosa, why are they bullying you? Hindi ko nga alam, ba't ako binaba? <laughs> Joke lang. Okay, what is cyberbullying? Very good question. So, why isn't cyberbullying illegal? Yes, that's a good question, no? Pero may mga rules na, may mga batas na tayo today to protect you from cyberbullying. Yung mga ano, I forgot the law. Ayoko magbanggit, baka magkamali ako. But there are laws, I guess, that protect us from cyberbullying nowadays. Good job, students, for the questions. All right, I love your questions. So, do we have more? Okay, what are the possible effects of cyberbullying? That's according to Ezel Reconese Soto. Yan, very good. I love the questions. Okay, how about this question? Uh, how about this? Fake news. Fake news. Can you think of WH questions that would ask about fake news? Ayan, so while we are waiting for your answers, don't forget the number, ha? Fake news is number two. Okay, let's see more. May ba kami mga, mga pagbati pa dito, no? Ayan, so Kisha and Rigala from Pampanga High School, Grade 7 M. Del Pilar. Hello from all of the people watching at Pampanga uh, High School. Okay, so we have Jeric Garobo. He said, how should we handle fake news? Ayan, so napakarami niyan ngayon, no? So, Paul, Stephanie, and Sog say, why do we need to spread fake news? Mm, okay. All right. So, Samantha Blasi, how to avoid getting fake news? All right. So, so Diary said, why do people keep spreading fake news? Yes. Bakit nga ba? No? So, alam nilang fake. <laughs> they knew that it's fake and it can actually cause some trouble. Why do they spread it? Okay. So, Janet Flad Patayan said, why do people feel the need to propagate fake news? That's correct. No, so I don't know if they're if they're if if that is their hobby. <laughs> okay. And then I'll rise as Zidane said, what are the possible effects of fake news? So gaganda ng mga questions, no? So there's a substance. Okay. So siguro, if we are going to have an open forum here, you get to be sharing a lot of ideas about this uh, topic. And yeah, lastly, all right. So body shaming. Can you just give me Questions, WH questions that ask something about this topic, body shaming. Ayan? So when we say body shaming, they would be making fun of your physical appearance. No? Yung mga, uh, they would ask you, why are you too thin? Why are you too fat? You know, something like that. Okay. Anything about the body. Okay. So ask questions. Let's see. All right, so Hannah Sulian de la Cruz said, what can we do to stop body shaming? Arvik Erosa said, why do people body shame others? Yes, Zamira Emery said, why many people do body shaming for fun? Okay, all right, so Ifer Jessica Lumanlan said, why do people keep tolerating body shaming nowadays? Yes, okay, so a lot of questions. Ang gaganda ng mga questions. Do we still have more? Keisha and Dirigal said, when will body shaming stop? Yes, so probably that would stop if people would learn how to love others the way they love themselves, no? Do we still have more? Okay, Renz Giver said, what is body shaming? Stephanie Diaz-Santa said, how long do we have to settle in a society that 
body shames other people. Okay, good job. All right, so palakpakan niyo naman yung mga sarili niyo. I can't tell you. All right, so if you were able, ganito na lang. If you were able to create three WH questions, okay, why don't you send me three half happy react in our chat box today? Okay, if you were able to make three WH questions, send me a happy react in our comment section. Gaganda ng mga questions, so something to ponder, something to think about. Okay? All right, so Janet Flood Patayan was able to create three. All right, so Danette Gansatao, Jane Elvon Morales, Renz Giver, Arvik Erosa, Paula Stephanie Ansog, and Mark Platon. Si Mark, madami. <laughs> All right, Jan Carlo Tagiba. All right, congratulations. Okay, I'm glad that you were able to participate in this activity because that's how it's supposed to be. No? So part ng ating objective that you will be able to create questions out of this uh, popular topics around. So evaluating one's knowledge, let's find out. Okay, you are going to choose the appropriate WH question for the given dialogue. So may mga dialogue akong papakita sa inyo, my dear students. And what you are going to do, pipili kayo, you're going to pick the best, or oh, let's not say the best, the correct WH question for it. Let's begin. Number one, this is the dialogue. Yan, i-internalize natin. Ito yung sagot dun sa question. You can send your questions, comments, and suggestions to the email address flashed on the screen. Ano kaya yung question na dapat dyan? What do you think would be the appropriate WH question for it? Is it A, what is your email address? B, who will be the recipients of my email? Or letter C, where do we send our concerns regarding your product? Okay, medyo analyze natin, no? What do you think would be the most appropriate question for this dialogue, for this conversation? Okay, so there are answers already. Julia Poldo said it's C. Danette said it's C. Lorraine said it's C. Judah Paolo said it's C. Samantha said it's C. Okay. All right, so, well, let's check it out. Good job. It's letter C. Very good. Number two. Let's have number two. What do you think is the answer? Okay, so the class president will present us in the students' council meeting tonight. What do you think is the answer? Okay, so for number two, what's the answer? Okay, number two, somebody said the net gansatao said it's A. John Carla Tagibo said it's A. So Diary said it's A. Let's see if that's the correct answer. Good job. I have five, but I will be giving you the last one because I'm running out of time, no? <laughs> Na miss ko yung last time. So number three, what do you think would be the last, the, the correct question for this? Lockdowns are implemented to prevent the virus from spreading. Okay, so you're still sending question uh, answers for number two. For number three, for number three, what do you think is the most appropriate um, question? Okay, your answers are A. Mark Nathaniel Nonata said it's A. Lorraine Hebe said it's A. RC Kilalang said it's A. Good job. Why lockdowns are implemented? So if you got three perfect score, okay, you got a perfect score, please send me a, a smiley. Three hearts in our comment section. Okay, so skip ko na to, my dear students, ha? Huh? Okay, so, well... We are now in the summary part of our lesson. So let's not forget that we do ask questions, no? So that we will be able to clarify things, to learn more, and to even more understand yung mga information na nare-receive natin. So congratulations sa mga nagsisend ng mga Happy React. We have Rhea, Janiel, Crystal May, and so much more. So let's not forget that the WH questions are as follows, okay? And should not be answered by a yes or a no. They could be what, when, where, who, whom, which, whose, why, and how. All right. So we can form our WH questions with an auxiliary verb using the following patterns, my dear students. And without an auxiliary verb, you can, you can see this pattern as well. 
And the negative, sorry about that. The negative WH questions, of course, diba, you remember we add no or not to it. <clears throat> not. So I believe we were able to come up with the following objectives. So we were able to formulate the content questions just like what you did today. You were able to ask precise and appropriate questions. And of course, you were able to construct WH questions correctly. So palakpakan niyo mga sarili niyo. Send me a virtual clap for yourselves for accomplishing all of these objectives for our week 7 lesson. Okay, before I go, my dear students, I'm about to go. This will be your homework and I'm waiting. I will be waiting for your answers. Ha? Conduct an interview with a family member or a friend about any of the following issues. So nag-start na tayo kanina, no? Why don't you create your own interview using 5WH questions? Please do send me a, a, video, a video if it's possible. Or kung hindi naman yung magagawa yung video, just send me the script of the video for your output on today's session. Ayan. So we, uh, we, we don't have time anymore. So of course, you're going to send it to Tudor Drace's page and to my personal Facebook account so that I would be counting it as your submission. So exit assessment, my dear students, don't forget to scan this link and answer the Google exit assessment. And of course, to evaluate, evaluate niyo yung aking pagtuturo ngayon sa araw nito, you can just scan it, evaluate the session honestly, and read carefully. Well, this is your tutor, Ernel, again. Thank you so much for being with me for the entire time, my dear Itulai students. I am so glad to meet you again. See you again next time at 1.40 to 2.20 with Tutor Dres. And of course, don't forget to support my co-Itulai tutors from grade 8 to grade 9. So as with our tutor next up next, dito sa ating session, please support Tutor Rubilin and Tutor Jovet for English 8 by sending the links of our e to Life sessions. I'm so glad to be here. See you next time. Bye.